to, to experiment uh, about wood, which uh, took me back to my young, uh, old, old uh, din days. <laughs> The lecturer at the Yaba College of Technology has been fascinated by these materials and that's why he decided to divert from his usual comfort zone to something more intriguing and probably more tasking. There is a lot of activities there and um, I've been able to represent uh, the activities in metafoil and basically in lines, simple lines and curves with the foil. And uh, also, normally when you work on metafoil, you use aradite and some other compositions, but here I've been able to improvise that instead of um, using aradite, which is um, the mixture of um, both uh, body filler and uh, um, bona glue together to achieve my designs before I now uh, use metaphor on them. Over 60 works reflect the theme of the show, which talks about different activities in the nation. But beyond that, it has also brought a new dimension to Ade's style. There is this hole that you will dig and they put the log of, uh, of wood across it and one person down there and the one on top and pushing the saw one to the other end and then that's how these slices came about. Some of these tree stumps and backs have different drawings and inscriptions on them. I've been able to now impose and engrave on them our uh, traditional uh, motifs, which is uh, the African symbol. For the passive observer, these black and brownish looking planks may seem like leftovers from cooking, but they were burnt intentionally to create an effect. Also, notice the details on them. <laughs> You burn the wood, they have these clean and beautiful forms, but after the burning, it looks uh, black and uh, unuseful. But uh, out of that, I'm uh, trying to explain that you could still use them to beautify or get concept out of them. And of course, there's a message in these woods, which is part of the series the artist calls Burnt Woods, Ethnic Dignity. I have about seven pieces of them in different sizes, and uh, that I tattoo them uh, Elders Forum. And uh, because culturally, most of our utensils in the olden days used to be in wood, we have plates carved out in wood, spoons in wood, and presently we still have them especially with those Odopo women, looking at the wood polished and you have the grains. And usually it's the grain of a, of a log of wood that determines how old. And in their different sizes, their grains differ, which goes to uh, explain the, the age of those trees. Even while working on the metal foil, he still shows his love for wood as he captures the chopping, Pilling and milling process. I collected this log along uh, uh, Unilag Road while they were doing that road, and uh, because part of uh, the, the essence of this exhibition is waste to wealth, so when I collected the logs, I took them into Yabatek. Simply, I had the opportunity to be able to work in the compound as uh, the HOD of uh, Fine Arts Department. On the painting, 
The artist uses very vibrant colors. Mr. Alade Gwage is a lecturer at the Yaba College of Technology in Lagos, and in his usual manner, he still has his heart set on mounting this exhibition there. The Creative Children's Workshop is on again. And this time, they chose to perform The River Between written by Mike Anyaung. Through the eyes of a child, the river between shows how selfish interests clash with national gain. Most of our children are so westernized. They really don't know much. They're they are city children. I was a city born child, so I know the effect it had on me. I didn't know much until the war started. Yeah. That's when I encountered my culture for the first time. So maybe that is probably what is the driving force behind all of this. To get the children to get to know about themselves first before they know about somebody else. Mudia and Novia are two neighboring communities with only a river between them. They live in peace till the secret in the sand bites them.